Dolphins in the two and three position. And when we return, we'll bring you Hinebra versus Talking Zex live here on Solar TV. Conference, a new chance to win a championship for all, all our teams. But Cardona is still not getting any love. <laughs> well, especially <laughs> not from the Never fans. <laughs> but you know, one thing that the Import Conference allows Mark Cardona to do, he plays the two guard position instead of the small forward position, which he's doing right now in the starting lineup. You know, it's not an easy matchup at the two guard position because he's, you know, he's relatively tall for a two guard. It's very difficult to guard on the offensive end. No? That's a good matchup, actually, two scorers. Mark Kagiwa and Cardona and Kagiwa shows, I'm back. And he's back to his old look. <laughs> and here's Cardona, Spinneroo. A wild shot in Tal with the rebound. I like the way he never closed that defense when uh, the spin was made. Held her down with a three-point attempt that was off the mark. With Helter Brand and Kagiwa in the starting lineup in the first game of the conference, does that mean that uh, the Fast and Furious are 100% yeah. healthy? They're ready, they're ready to go. Yeah, obviously, if not, uh, that, w that won't be placed there. And as a matter of fact, you know that those two guys have a lot of the fans of the Inebra squad. So <laughs> that's a good move by the guy who, I said, can really play in the post. And he's not a big scorer, but around that area, he can do his thing. Now, he's not a guy that can shoot from the outside, but he's a pretty good post player. Oh, and a poor uh, pass there between miscommunication between uh, Intal and Rico Villanueva. Intal forgot to cut through the basket where he would be most effective with a return pass. Here's Dillinger, by the way, talking text to the Immaculate White. As they go to the incredible bump, and Jason Castro is bumped, and a basket is good. That's what I have always liked about Sean Daniels. When he first came here two years ago, you know, when we competed against him with uh, Jamal Greer, I said this guy can't play because he can't come up and down the floor, but he managed to play the whole conference uh, with the Air in 21 team. You know, he can pass, that's one thing. And the familiarity with the, of the, with the players that are already here in the country. So it's very easy for him to make the adjustments to a team, especially if you do not ask too much from him. Here's Villanueva matched up against Daniels. Elton Brand to Intal. 12 to shoot. Intal against Dillinger. Intal gives the ball up and Story fires. And this is his first attempt here in the PBA. Dillinger thought about it. Well, he looked down if the see he was in the three-point area. If he did not, he would have been firing him because he was open uh, in that transition play. Here's Ranadel. He was bumped. Of course, Ranadel de Ocampo figured prominently in that controversial game four. 
I think, you know, if you ask people, when they look back at that series, they've probably forgotten what happened in Game 5. Naalala ng lahat is what happened in Game 4 of that quarterfinal affair. There's Cardona, matched up against Elter Brand. Cardona missed again, and there's Dillinger with that incredible athleticism. And never has got to look a little at their defense. They're all looking at the offensive player, and they forgot to box out the guy coming from the weak side. So, a good start for Tok and Tex, 7-2 to two in, in their favor, and a double dribble called against uh, J.J. Helterberg. Rather a shaky start here for uh, the Jim Kings. Well, they come after the shot of Mark Kaniwa came up with a lot of turnovers and a poor shot selection from their import, you know, that uh, a three-point shot that was challenged. Daniels. There's a double team, kick out, Castro. Tap to shoot. And now shot clock winding down. Ranadale, drop step. Swipe by Helterbrand. Intal is on the loose. Intal, oh, oh. chased by Jason Castro. Well, Intal wanted to dunk that. That's the reason why you could see he floated. Instead of dribbling straight to the basket, maybe used the ball, he wanted to dunk that. And he did not realize that there was a defender coming from behind him. So that's good effort in the transition defense of Castro. And he never keeps the basketball. Here's Obi Stari, and this is his second attempt. Nearly three minutes having gone by in the opening quarter. And in Deo Campo, testing the defense of the Ginebra import. Still too much on that uh, spin of this on that pirouette. Delta Brand swings it over to Kagiwa. Story wants the basketball against Rade del Deo Campo. Story outside Helter Brand, and here's Kagiwa. Inside Villanueva, Villanueva blocked by Daniels. Pocket next up by five. Lob pass inside Daniels and he'll miss. Well, you can see that the big man ran the transition here and he put himself at the post for a nice uh, shot. No, but he just missed it. Pick and roll play here. His story. An easy swipe by Rana del Del Campo. And Cardona on the move. There is a holding foul against Mark Tagiwa. That's his second. And that's not good because so far he's the only guy that scored for them. And he really hasn't had touches after that, you know. They've been trying to go to the post to the import story. They've tried to go to Rico Villanueva. And JJ has taken a couple of long shots. Cardona for three. Rebound for story. Only two points on the scoreboard for Ginebra here in the opening quarter. Well, talking Texas also missed the last three shots. And they are defense of Ginebra as well. Almost another turnover here. Oh, it's a turnover. Two on one break. Dellinger skies. And missed the reverse. That was a good challenge there by uh, Intali. And here's Kagiwa. Oh. That will be the third personal against Mark Kagiwa. He was very aggressive on that move. We cannot blame Mark. He's coming in from, from a long layoff. Actually, he played a couple of games there in the uh, playoffs. But uh, he certainly would like to show and contribute to his teammates. No? And Kagiwa in disgust, picking up three early fouls, throws the headband into the crowd. I wonder if he's going to go back to his headband. Well, he's probably got a lot of them. <laughs> You can tell the boy, go, 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 go to my, go to the locker room, get me some more. Foul against Elton Brand, you know, you pick up three fouls with that headband. I want to go to headband now. Just like a ball, a uh, golf ball, a uh, triple ball. Ita, tapo na tapo na sa ilog yan. <laughs> well, if you never stop scoring at two points, stop and text. After a good start, getting seven points right away, they've stopped scoring two for quite a while. On the line is Castro. Now let's go to Patricia. Because Talking Tech's original import, Eric Hicks' knees were suspect, Talking Tech's called in Sean Daniels, who's in his fourth PBA stint, and he played in just last Thursday. But you know what? It's been easy for him to find his place. It does help to have three former Air 21 teammates with him, and he has played against Jimmy Elapog in college and has banged bodies with just about everyone that are now his new allies. Now I asked what makes him a reliable reinforcement, and he says the locals like playing with him. He doesn't dominate the ball, and he loves to pass. His Waterloo, though, has always been 
Jordan and still is his free throw shooting. He had a measly 36.5 free throw shooting 